Hey guys, so I know you're wondering like why I'm doing a video in a closet. Well, because I'm at my boyfriend's house for the whole month of June and this is my office. So yeah, we set up, he's got a really big closet. So I set up my desk and my laptop and my gaming computer will be done tomorrow. We run into a little hitch and it's kind of put off until tomorrow because we got to order a new part, but it looks sick. It's purple and green lights and it is awesome. So, but I also, I'm making a video when they were building it, so you guys can see it being built. I cut bits and pieces, but yeah, it's awesome. I can't wait for it to be done. And for those of you that know gaming, you'll be sh truly impressed. But yeah, my uh, uh, solid state drive, we got the wrong M2, and yeah, so we had to order a new one or it wouldn't work. And those of you that don't know gaming, sorry, I don't know what to tell you. But, okay, so here we go. Everyone keeps asking me, what do I think about this 1,200 page brief? And to be honest with you, I am so disappointed. I heard for months, oh, she has stuff that you don't have, and she has so much more evidence. Guess what? She doesn't. That 1,200 page brief showed that she doesn't have more evidence. She had the same fucking shit me and Casey been saying for over a year. And I, I'm bored. I like got to only page like 150. I'm bored. I don't know what to do. So I'm not going to go through it. It's free to read. I'll post a link below. But I mean, everybody is privileged to the same information that I've seen. So my opinion is, I'm a genius. No, seriously, though. My opinion is we've said all this already. It, she has nothing new. My own personal feeling, I still don't think Ryan did. I don't care how he was implicated or how she may have named him. My heart of heart and my gut of guts tells me that she kind of threw that in there. No different than when Kratz threw Avery and Desi out there. and You know, like that big press conference that we all know Kratz for. Like how he kept saying Steven in the sweat. And it, it kind of sticks in your brain where people then started thinking maybe he was guilty. It's the same kind of thing I feel she's doing. Let's throw Ryan out there because he's the most obvious. Why do I think this? I don't know. I just do. I can't tell you why my gut tells me this. I just do. I feel like she had, well, not I feel like, but she had made an extension on, I think a month or two ago that she had asked for extension, a 90 day extension due to work overload. So she's totally busy. The way the law works is that, the way lawyers work, I should say, is that she didn't spend two years or a year or 18 months working on this case. Her people worked on this case. She's got other shit going on. She maybe probably spent a month in total in the last 16 months, not including going there and, you know, seeing the family and going to see Stephen and talking to Stephen. But all the paperwork, all the research, she doesn't do any of that. So I, knowing that she was pressed for time, knowing that she asked for an extension due to overload, my heart of hearts just tells me that she did do enough research to say Ryan did it. She just threw it out there because Ryan is the most obvious, which is why I totally think he didn't do it. I, I can't explain why I think this way. I just do. Now, Kratz, who we know is my favorite, brought up a really good point. On, I think it's on Twitter or it was in an interview or it was an interview with ABC. And I will post that below. It's just a screenshot. I don't even know where it came from, but I saw it on Stephen Avery Project, I believe. And yeah, I have my fidget spinner. Whoop. And we just dropped it. Okay, we're back. Sorry, but I can't live without my fidget spinner because my hands will be bored. So anyway, so um, and I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, Kratz. So Kratz had turned around and said that if that he hasn't read it it was to abc that he hasn't read it yet and he plans on reading it however in kratz's opinion you know it's ridiculous what the claim she made which we all know it's not ridiculous no it's actually pretty fucking dead on but i tend to agree with him in the sense that he was saying if she had so much scientific evidence then she wouldn't need a 13 page report 1300 page brief and that she was just throwing a bunch of stuff against the wall to see what would stick. He's not totally wrong. Because in an, the way an appeal works is that's exactly what she did. She threw everything out there 
hoping that something was going to stick enough that he was going to get a new trial. Because understand, they don't have to give him a new trial. And personally, I don't think they're going to. I honestly do not believe that he's going to get a new trial. I think the Wisconsin courts are going to use their right to deny and deny, deny, deny. Absolutely do not think this man's getting a new trial. I think he's fucked. And that's hopefully I'm wrong, but that's truly my opinion. The courts, like I've said in a group today, Wisconsin is not looking for justice. They're not looking for the truth. They don't give a fuck. They want anything but Stephen Avery out of jail. So I really do not think that they're going to go around and say, hey, let's give him a new trial. Now he's going to double it. We know what she's worth. So she's going to sue us for $90 million. But let's give him a new trial because we know she's going to win. It's not going to happen. And I mean, hopefully it does. And I'm not being negative, but it's actual reality i just don't think it's gonna happen i feel really really bad for him so hopefully i'm wrong i'm not saying i'm right but hopefully i'm wrong and the part about her seeing you know everything's gonna stick that's why she's saying it because it doesn't have to stick he could end up you know there could be one thing that she said that makes it where they have to give him a new trial which they don't ever have to but you know what i mean as compared to not giving him a new trial and saying, well, the evidence wasn't strong enough. You never know. It's hit or miss. I don't think she's going to give up. But if I remember correctly, Melissa was also denied a new trial, which goes to show that, you know, you don't have to get a new trial just because you ask for it. Hopefully, Wisconsin will give a new trial, though. So the other thing I want to bring up about this is everything that was said, we've said already. I, like I said, I've only read to 150. I was one thing I did learn, which I did not know, is the gunshot that they were talking about came from Raleigh Johnson. And I'll be honest, I totally forgot who he was. And thank God somebody told me because I totally forgot. And if you don't know who he is, Raleigh Johnson owned the property. He owned the trailer, which doesn't make sense to me because I thought Avery owned the property. I thought it was their property. So, I don't know. But he owned the trailer. He also, they say, owned the gun. Um, another thing that went through, which I said, I didn't say it went through wood, but Teresa Hobbock, that bullet that was found, you know, that said they had brain fragments. I was like, that didn't go through a fucking skull and didn't wasn't found on the garage floor. Well, that was true. Zellner had said that it went through wood or something, and it was did not pass through her brain. Duh, we knew that already. So it also goes on to talk about the bones and how, you know, nothing was protocol. I mean, I'm reading this doctor's testimony and I'm laughing because I'm like, duh, who doesn't know that? But I don't know. Courts are so dumb. You need an expert to say. I actually looked at law schools today because I'm like, you know what? I could totally fucking be a lawyer. I'll probably be a damn good one. So I'll keep you guys informed and let you guys know. I really have nothing else. Um, I'm going to do probably do two more videos before I go home only because I'm going to read more of the brief. So if you guys always leave your comments, good, bad, or indifferent, and uh, make sure you subscribe. If you like my videos, hit the like button, not the negative button because we don't like that. Hit subscribe and I will see you guys next video. All right. So check out my other videos and have a wonderful night and have a wonderful weekend. And next week, I'm going to Chicago. I can't wait. And I found out that Zuckerman is going to be there. Mark Zuckerberg is going to be there. He's the keynote speaker. I would hope so because it's his own fucking conference. But we have, like, this Facebook group that is only for attendees that were invited. And there's some really cool groups in there. So I am so excited for this thing. It's going to rock it. And that's all I got for you guys. So have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.